Hi, Goran. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Such a beautiful name, Goran. Can yes, you sir. can you tell what is it mean? Like how the name is, you know, inherited, where it is you done, Goranga Divedi. Okay. I just want to focus on Goranga, the name. It sounds, you know, just uh, just like a wow. Uh, can you bit explain? Sir, this name was given to me by my father. So mm -hmm. the name stands for like the one with the fair complexion or the one with the fair body parts. Mm -hmm. So he named since I was born, I was very fair. So he named me Goran. Okay. That's a very beautiful name. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. So now just want to know about your introduction, your background, your details, education, what you've done. Can you bit elaborate to me and team? Yes, sir. Uh, so my name is Gorang Devedi. I'm from Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. I have completed my B.Tech in Electronics and Communication Engineering from DIT University, Dehradun in the year 2021. Coming to my experiences, I have around 1.5 year of experience working as a data analyst using SQL, my MS, Excel, Tableau, PowerPoint, and Python and some part of client uh, facing and team handling as well. And my daily tasks in, uh, involve like communicating with the clients and the stakeholders with the different managers as well to understand the business requirements and the data required related to the business. I'm also well versed in Microsoft SQL Server where I used to extract, manipulate data from databases uh, and uh, use SQL joins, set operators, where clause, group by, and stored procedures and ranking as well. I have a uh, good knowledge in MS Excel as well, where I worked using various filters, data validation and uh, conditional formatting and various other formulas like VLOOKUP, pivot table and building reports and dashboard in Excel. And I have working knowledge in data visualization part as well. I have, I have knowledge of the tool like Tableau, where I used to build reports and dashboards and share it with the concerned team members or the stakeholders. And I have fair knowledge in Python as well. Yes, sir. Excellent. Why you move towards a data career? Like how your uh, career started in data profile? So, uh, sir, since uh, after after getting placement from my college, uh, I got placed in Bellas of Private Limited, where and I got thorough knowledge of the SQL. Uh, I was uh, deployed to an on-job trading project uh, where we were using Salesforce. And we had a development part in which we were required to run SQL queries to get the data and clean it and all everything. Later on, I explored more onto it and I got to know about this data analyst profile. So mm -hmm. I got a role as sales data analyst in another company named uh, in my previous company, that is Big Step Technologies. So there I used to perform all the data related part, uh, much more involving SQL and building reports out of MS Excel and uh, visualizing them in Tableau or uh, other BI tools. Yeah. Also, just uh, going through a profile, you mentioned that you are already preparing for, uh, I think, uh, Indian Army, uh, you know, Lieutenant Colonel, the position, I think. Yes, sir. So, I had, what, I had... is, what is that? Can you bit tell, elaborate what is that? You are working in data profile, but you want to serve the country to as Indian Army. Uh, how how come it is like the com combination? Uh, sir, uh, earlier I had been applying for to get to join the Indian Army through NDA, but due to hard luck, I could not clear it. So I started with my BTEC then and completed my graduation. And mm -hmm. then I came to know about various uh, graduation entries, uh, wherein we can get into the Army using our graduation marks. So uh, during the BTEC, I was already interested in this uh, Army thing, but I also got to know about this data analyst profile. So I thought, I thought that these two, both the things are doable at the same time, like multitasking. And even the Indian Army at this time also requires data analysis because exactly. in the coming exactly. coming time, data, all the wars are fought based on the data only. So it will be an upper hand for me to have a profile as a data analyst and then for working as a colonel or lieutenant colonel in Indian Army. So it would be a uh, like added advantage for me. Advantage, correct. That's why I so if you're thinking now, if you're not uh, surviving in this data career in IT industries, in case you are getting selected in Indian Army, so this uh, data science, data and AI, it is going to be your, uh, you know, uh, in you know, you will be a special position in Indian Army as a colonel position, you think? Yes, uh, there are uh, various ranks and uh, 
positions which are given based upon your experiences and your on ground roles and those on ground roles or expertise can only be gained from the knowledge of all these technological things which we have like uh, up to the colonel the ranks are given based on time and after the we move from colonel to other ranks like brigadier or lieutenant colonel so those ranks are awarded based on your experience and the meritorious activities which you do on ground so those activities can only be gained through practical experiences which you have on using these technologies only so that would surely benefit us definitely data data analyst data science is not limited in it industry if you as you mentioned in indian army navy army if you go to in a central government state government everywhere now that's everybody they are you know they are consuming the data everybody make want to analysis he talking about to country talking about the business it is data is everywhere tell me right. one more thing if you talking about to indian army as they are going to even you know you will get opportunity you know if you get a role in indian army or indian uh, any defense uh, role you are going to apply the data role but can you tell me recently india india government uh, introduce a new rules related to data what is that rule name sir uh, seeing the european nations and the western countries indian government has also deployed data protection rules exactly, for yes. uh, various uh, it companies which are thriving into this country so they have implemented the same rules on the like for the protection of data and privacy to maintain yeah. the privacy of the users yes how the europe countries they are following gdpr general data protection rule similarly india government this year they passed the bill general data protection rules and definitely it is going to be more you know impact individually as a company point of view and if you want to apply that rules in data what required so as you are a data person you are you know planning for the lot of thing lot of thing for indian army in you know you are applying for the uh, uh, advanced data science ai so tell me when the data when you are applying the rules and the regulation what we call so that is uh, data governance we call it data governance data governance how data uh, you know management uh, data analysis are related to data governance can you be define that one please so sir so uh, sir so data governance part starts itself at the point at the point of collection of data like we have data warehouses and data marts so at the point of collection of data only data governance starts wherein we are required to manage the the availability of the data its usability its integrity and even the security so if the data is being uh, poured uh, or collected at particular data warehouse or databases so all these uh, key things like usability integrity and uh, security should be kept in the knowledge or should be kept in the frame while framing the policies regarding data governance to maintain and this data same data governance or data analysis how it will be benefited for uh, uh, indian uh, nav, nav, uh, you know uh, defense so uh, so uh, the data is uh, very much heterogeneous in nature like uh, yeah. we don't know what kind of data it could be it can be the data from youtube or audio data from music uh, files or any other place so uh, the data is being generated very haphazardly nowadays so to keep a eye keen eye on it and we don't know uh, in which other form our data is being used or which other form our data is being used by, by other entities so to keep an eye on it and to manage all these things data governance is would be playing a major role in it like how to retrieve how to manage the data and who all can access it the main thing yeah. is about the access part who all can access usability so, accessibility data security data privacy okay data uh, you know a lot of rules and regulation enhancing the data improving the data connecting the data the breach should not be break and the data uh, you know data manta we are using for a data lineage concept who data sources where is a generating where is thing there's a lot of thing yet to you know we all have to growing towards data governance when a data is there not only data analysis data science also data governance is the the most important role will play going you know future uh, uh, next yeah going forward the next uh, uh, 10 year 5 year is booming actually yeah gorang all the best for your indian army uh, interview i think you recently attended the indian army correct yes sir i attended but could not be for it. the best huh? yes sir, i attended it but i uh, got out in the last round so i'll be trying further right next for the next okay hope for the best uh, okay 
So moving forward to the next, oh, you build a you know data management project. On the data management project, what are the role uh, you uh, played on that? Uh, so sir, and that my role was to validating the data and storing and protecting, it, and then processing it further for the analysis part. So that was a part which I used to play. For the I also have other than analysis, I also worked on visualizing the data to uh, send it forward to the stakeholders or the team managers to get the insights from it and frame the policies further ahead for the product which we had with us. Okay. Can you please explain now what is the different delete, drop, and truncate? So, sir, a delete uh, is, a D, uh, is a DDL statement. And, uh, sorry, sir, drop and truncate are the DDL statement and delete is... Uh, DML statement and uh, further the delete uh, is used for deleting a particular record, whereas drop and truncate are used to delete the structure, uh, a table, wherein drop deletes the content of the table which we have with us and truncate deletes the complete structure of the uh, table which we have designed in our database. Okay. Do you have a pen paper with you? Yes, sir. I have it with me. Can you write a syntax to delete a particular column or table, like a employee is a table and a salary is the column? What will be the syntax? How to delete a particular column in a table? So I need to delete a particular column. Yeah. So, sir, so I will write delete column, the delete column name from a particular table. And the, uh, for the if I have any condition over there where salary greater than this or less than that, and then semicolon, and execute that particular statement. Okay, check once after this call. Uh, you can check once. Okay. Yes. Uh, in in the, the, you know when I'm telling data base, and the that one thing is coming to picture that is called data modeling. How will define data modeling and how it is help to a data person. Sir, uh, data modeling uh, is the process of creating a model for the data, which is to be stored in a database. It is a it is like a conceptual representation of data objects and the association between various uh, different objects, which we objects and the rules which we have in it. So that is data modeling. Okay. What is the difference between fact and a dimension table? So, uh, pardon, sir. I'm unable to recall this. Okay. Okay. Noise. Noise. In Tableau, uh, what are the different, uh, you know, uh, project you've done? Can you bit elaborate what project you've done? Yes, sir. Uh, in the last project only I did, uh, wherein I did the client sales analysis in Tableau, wherein I uh, collected the data and uh, draw drew various charts and the visualization depending upon the data which we had over there. Like, uh, let's say our, where which companies or which e-commerce clients are using our data well, or which e-commerce clients or companies are performing well in their industry. So we can uh, manage or we can prepare our sales pitches accordingly based on those domains only. Let's say there's any uh, fitness industry which is performing very well. So to those companies, we can pitch our product and let them know that how they can increase their sales further using particular particular product. What do you expect from this job? If you are uh, allowing you to serve here, so uh, I would be uh, in the expectation part, sir. Uh, something new to learn each and every day. That would be the first thing, and the second would be uh, a good uh, a bit of challenging nature. Like uh, I get uh, rather than working on a monotonous task of uh, redoing the things again and again, I get introduced to various other uh, challenge and problem statements day by day, so that that I can increase my knowledge base as well, and introduction to new tools as well, which will really help me in uh, propagating further in my career. Good to meet uh, with you, Mr. Gorang. It's a really nice to meet you. Okay, so do you have any question for us? Uh, no, sir. And it's my pleasure as well to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you, Goranga. All the best and the, all the best for your uh, Indian Army interview. I hope you will get the, you know, soon the good news.
going forward thank, thank you, you thank you